Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. We're about 12 hours later. Um, the servers are still down. Maybe I've missed our opportunity to actually play online. Who knows? Before we cash in our, uh, whatever they're called, party sundries, I think we can meet someone in Purgatory. And we got to meet Javik at the embassies, I think. Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're fighting. Well, it won't stop a Reaper, but an extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors? The best. And they don't skimp on plating either. I love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I can take point more often now. I wonder if he's a plan. And he's just trying to be a salesman to everyone coming in and going from purgatory, knowing that it's full of soldiers. drink with me. You're looking happy? You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. Yeah, let's make it very clear. We're here for Liara, and then after that, Trainer. And then if we don't get anywhere with Trainer, then Vickers. If we're doing anywhere with Vickers, then Ashley Williams. Who else is left? I mean, I guess then we might as well uh, try and seduce Cortez. But for now, we've, we've got a list of other priorities. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. I tried to get backstage at a nightclub once because I thought I knew one of the dancers. I've no idea whether I did or not. I mean, I thought I did at the time, but I'd had a few drinks and the bouncers wouldn't let me in. That might have been a good thing, actually, in retrospect. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Huh. Didn't expect that. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Look. At some point, we're going to have to put her down. But in the meantime, yeah, use her as a sex robot, because she's low on the list than Cortez for us. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? 
Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. Yeah, but if you don't ask, you don't get. And it works out fine in Twilight. What's it called? Twilight Saga? I almost said Twilight Zone. We've got Twilight Zone on the brain. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. the Presidium? No, the Embassies. To find Javik. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Patrol team Krogan Force has landed on a road in an attempt. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Yes, yeah, it's, re it's really not a victory being in the Citadel. I guess it is the seat of our first victory. I wonder if that's what we're referring to. It might not seem like much. But a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living are remote. If you are lucky, they will destroy you outright. You will avoid the fate of becoming a husk. If you cannot fight, do not let them capture you. Death is a better outcome. It's over. We'll never win this. I don't see a problem with his speech, to be honest. The fact they knew he was a Prothean is more of a concern than the Prothean speech. Won't win any new recruits. But at least they know what they're in for. It is better to fight with your eyes open than your heart. Is that the Prothean way of war? It is the way of life. I will meet you back on the Normandy, Commander. Oh, and it took us so two and a half. attempts to take control of the Citadel have failed, and CSEC forces have killed the last invading forces. 
It took us two and a half games to convince people that the Reapers were a real threat. I don't think... I don't feel any remorse that they now feel scared. I mean, that's that's they should have listened to me two games ago, and then they wouldn't be in this position of being threatened or scared or whatever you want to call it. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Miota. Want to guess why? Why? They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah. Your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. I don't think we've got the money to buy the C -Sec, C Sec Spectre sniper rifle. We might find it's not even very good. But I don't know if we've got any more jobs to do. Location for Ding Korlak. The Volus Ambassador's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was an office suite near the human embassy. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. I mean, right now, the elusive man is really being an absolute nuisance. If we can end the elusive man, we'll absolutely do it. And even if we end Miranda's father, that's still a win. Especially, especially while I'm stuck here on the Citadel. I mean, I can't get distracted makes absolutely no sense in this context. I wonder if this isn't part of the Citadel, and it's just a coincidence that it's turned up. Also, she's got a great personality. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Quite a coincidence that I triggered that. I didn't know that's what was going to happen. Yeah, we've almost got enough, but not quite. I think the only way to check which team members I haven't checked in at... Oh, we've got the Volus Ambassador job. No, let's not do that yet. Let's try and finish the Citadel. Oh, unless I'm supposed to trigger this door. No, none of that helps me with Volus Ambassador, I don't think. Let's go back to the... Apartment terminal. Check who I haven't seen. Spectre status recognized. 
Please select a destination. There's no rapid transit here. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian no. housing. I Spectre thought there was one here. One moment, please. I was definitely one at Purgatory because that's where I teleported in through rapid transit. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Ward Level Purgatory. Oh, my quarters here? Or my quarters on the ship, do you think? Right, we've done that, have we? No, cabin. We've done that. They're all mixed up, they're not in date order. Citadel Memorial we have to do. We've seen Rex. I don't think we've seen Garrus. So, Memorial at the docks. Seasec near the shuttles. Not 100%. Uh, I'm guessing that's docking bay. Well, we've definitely got to go um, to the memorial, so let's do that first. Docking Bay E-24. Emergency civilian housing. Shepard, thanks for coming. I wanted to be here for you, Ash. See her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad. 
glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he'd put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. Got to say, Ashley is a lot better looking than her sister. Now, are there C sex here? I think there might be. Yeah, this is a C sec. Hey! Oh. Hey, it's you. Still waiting, I see. Any news? No, but they promised, right? They'll get here soon. I'm sure they will. I'll drop by later to check in on you, if that's okay. Okay. Oh, James isn't here. I bet they're really missing his company. Bay D24. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Of course I'm a spectre. Oh. Oh, I'm one. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turians swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Complain You're long. right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. 
They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> I don't think Garrus would have respected us throwing the game, would he? I would have done. We've got Thane's Memorial to go to. I'm not 100% sure where it is. But thankfully, uh, I've still got the files from the last LP on the computer. Sergeant, so I have a little brother. He went off-planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor. Ma'am. I think the Reaper just bashed us out of the way then. No, I think I'll go this way. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. So we've got to meet for the funeral somewhere. It doesn't tell us where. If we've got to question, phone. Ugh. Please consult an Avena terminal for assistance. We've got to phone Mom from somewhere. And One we've got moment, to meet Liara please. somewhere. Uh, don't know where any of those three things. Oh, and we've got to meet Edie back at the apartment. So that should be easy. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. I'm just going to guess that Thane's memorial is here. Because that's the only place that we've seen Thane. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Looks like someone was trying to requisition medical supplies. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Well, actually, the nav point thing is quite useful then. Because I had no idea what I was doing. I don't know what that was regarding, really. I'm guessing that was the spectre that stopped us in the corridor once. I've already done that, am I?
Okay, the memorial is not here. I'm gonna guess I found mom from the ship. Do you think from the um from where we speak to Hackett? Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. We've done the embassies. We haven't done the commons. Yep. That's the only place please. left, I think. Ah, Liara was on like a a balcony cafe, wasn't she, at one point now before? Now arriving at Presidium Commons. She was here at one point, but she's not here now. Sure, you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. And... <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. That sounds like the kind of dumb thing all children do. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. It's not even that dumb, to be honest. You do find things in the ground. What was she like? She was confident. And kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Well... That sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way too. I know. I thought a paramour was a prostitute. I'm reasonably confident I'm right. I swear a paramour is a mistress or a or a hooker. Hello, Shepard. Well, that was an underwhelming sex scene. I mean, I guess we couldn't really do it right there on the balcony. Mind you, I'm a spectre. I can do what I want. Right, what we've got left then is the Thane Memorial and Phone Mom. Oh, 
Uh, I'm going I'm like 99% confident that uh, the phone call will be on the ship in the back room. So I'm going to cut the video until I get there. Hopefully that's right. You're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. <sighs> All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You won't thank me so much when you're eye-deep in husks. Yeah, I mean, your brother needs to die. Okay, he's working for Cerberus, but he's, he's gonna die. You're not gonna have more turn of... more attempts at turncoating him than I will. I wouldn't even bother. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Looks like they were tampering with emergency food requests at the refugee center. Trying to get more food for themselves. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Oh, it says link to Anderson. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Turians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. If this isn't a conversation we've had before, it's pretty damn similar. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And it's enough. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong about phoning Mom then. I don't really know where else we'd make a phone call. We've got Edie in the apartment. And we've got the memorial. I have no idea where. Commander. Well, I've no idea where Edie is then. And I've no idea where we're meant to phone Mom. I don't know what to do then. Is that a telephone? It looks like one. No. I don't really see any way uh, around this. I don't... Oh, that's that. Maybe it's invite up. Right, I think you do it from invite up. Oh, there's loads of them. Ah, oh, that's how you get ED. Aha. Uh -huh. Hannah Shepard here. Hi, Mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, 
I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, son. So proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Goodbye, sweetheart. That was not really worth it. Strange. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? This is terrible. There's no way we can have her assassinated shopping on the internet. We should have gone shopping on an overcrowded street with lots of cars coming down it. Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Well, I hope Jack gets well paid. I don't think... I mean, I kind of want to use rare as a synonym for extinct, but I don't think that works, does it? No, we can't tell her she's going extinct. Let's just avoid that topic altogether. That's thoughtful, lady. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewellery with the uniform. Some soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. I'll take that to heart. Thanks, Edie. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Well, all I can say is I hope Jack gets bloody well paid working at a school. Famously massively overpaid school teachers are. Shit me. Edie can spend money.
We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. There's an old human saying, whoever saves one life saves the world in time. It's not about a planet, but the value of each of us. I don't know how many times Thane saved my life, or I saved his when we were beyond the Omega-4 relay. It all happened pretty fast. But I do know my whole world could have come to an end then. And it didn't. Even when he was terminally ill and had no business fighting on, something in Thane told him he could save one last life. It was not his own. Thane was too selfless for that. The life he chose was someone's whose decisions could, in fact, save worlds entire. Would anyone else like to speak? It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was... good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the Counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's Syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the Counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. It's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions. And I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander.
Shepard. I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyad. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shape of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico, and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later.